Let it out. Yell. Has nobody in all, all of us, us know the is that, that there is a was. Is ever gonna bring, bring it out. Hey guys, it's Yanni here. Today's video, I'm gonna be reacting to Morrissey Almond singing Defying Gravity from her online streaming singing competition. <laughs> competition <laughs> like I said in the previous video she's gonna do all Broadway theme songs and one of the songs has been uploaded online I don't know what other songs she sang but I know that she sang Defying Gravity so to this video we're gonna be reacting to Defying Gravity and I am so excited because Wicked is my favorite musical period period it's my favorite musical period I know all the songs I know all the script I know all the lyrics I even know the instrumental I can play it in my head so what I'm curious is I don't know what version she's gonna sing is she gonna sing the Broadway version or is she gonna sing the pop version or the Glee version because there's so many different versions I personally love the Broadway version so but we'll see without further ado let's get right into the video okay here we go Sounds like the Broadway version. <laughs> it sounds like the Broadway version. Something is not the same. I'm through with the oh, Boris, you better give me the emotion because this song is full of emotion. If you know what the story behind this song, it's full of emotion. Morris, you better give me the emotion. I need the emotion, which you can deliver. I know she always gives emotion. I'm gonna shut up. Go back. Control. She has control. Okay, listen to the control. Something has changed within She's controlling my life right now. Something is not the same. Same. I'm through with playing by the rules of someone else's game. Too late for second guessing. Too late to go back to sleep. It's time to trust my instinct. It's my favorite part. The transitions to chorus. And leave. It's time to try to find gravity. My gosh! Can we talk about her voice became a Broadway musical voice? You guys, I'm not a professional singer, but I do watch some interviews and I believe, I think that there's sometimes pop vocals or Broadway musical trained vocals. For example, Lea Salonga. I'm not a professional singer, but correct me if I'm wrong, Lea Salonga obviously is technically trained to sing musical music. However, Morissette Amon, we've known her singing pop all this time. Pop including like ballads, like those rise up, like popular music. But now we're hearing her Broadway musical vocals, which I've never heard before. That's why I was wondering in the beginning, like, is she gonna sing the Broadway version or the pop version? You guys, her voice is so good. It's time to trust my instincts. Close my eyes. So smooth, listen. And leave. It's time to try to find gravity. I've been caught trying. Wow! Did, did Leia Salonga train her? Well, what is the, where did this come from, Morissette? It's time to try to find gravity. Perfect. I think I'll try to find gravity. Where did she get that from? And you can pull me down. Okay, she added a riff there. Yes, you better get mad. But, but still I try, I'll never know. Power, powerful. Too long I've been done. Losing love, I guess I've loved. Felt it, felt the lyrics. There it is. Soft. <laughs> yes, Morrison. That's a hard part, you know, because I watch... You guys, since because I'm the number one fan of Wicked, I know all the Alphabus. I know the person who played Alphabus throughout the year. And I've seen and I've heard a million times how they would deliver this type of song. It's a challenging song. Now I know in this part of the song, it's not a very easy 
transition because you came from a very belt and then you go have to pull it back into a soft 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 vocal and i've noticed that not a lot of alphabas can do that the original can but not a lot so instead they would belt it out but more said someone says they're so some things i can no, she's say. mad so she's belting she's belting she even added a riff Pull back. Oh, perfect. Marse, you got everything. Perfect version. Perfect Broadway version. Imagine if she plays Alphaba on stage. Was she ever invited? Oh, she would. Oh, would she play Alphaba? I would go to New York to see her Broadway live on stage. Uh, Alfie. Wait, wait, wait. I'll be, I'll be your Alfie. I'll, I, I am her Alfie. Oh, I'm so excited because I know this song. I know all the lyrics. Yeah, bad mouth, guys. Better wait now. Alfie, just say you're sorry before it's too late. You can stay out. It's probably not that version. <laughs> it's a cut version. Future is I just had a vision almost like a prophecy. I know it sounds true. Uh, oh, I love that part. I love what she did there. I just had a vision almost like a prophecy. Wow. All the words are very articulated. I'm sure before she sang this, she was FaceTiming, she was Zoom calling Leia Salome. But oh my gosh, because you know what? All the words are so articulated and said perfectly with every single syllable she's not eating her word is what i'm trying to say is unlimited and i just had a vision almost like a prophecy i know <laughs> Perfect. it sounds truly crazy and true true the, the vision says but i swear built it out give it to me morrison I can't wait for the finale. Let's go. Let's go. Ending. Yes, sing it. Did she, she did not grow. She did not grow there. Hold on. where Elphaba is the, the most powerful part of the song and the whole musical that you can feel the Broadway stage and the Broadway room. You can feel like it's very heavy because of this song, because of this part. Like, can you tell I'm like a fanatic? <laughs> can you tell I'm such a fan of Morrison and the song and the musical? Hold on. This part is so powerful. You need to hear this. <laughs> Let it out. Yell. That was the that was the highest note in this song, and not a lot of alphabet can do that perfectly. <sighs> she did. She did that flawlessly. She did it that. Hold on. In reality, nobody, nobody in 
in all of us. No wizard that there is all of us. His ever can operate. Bring it out. Ovation. Do I have roses? I want to give her roses. It is so perfect. And the fact that she did that live, and the fact that she did that live, how is that possible? We don't know. Anyway, you guys, that was my reaction. A reaction from a real Broadway fan. Broadway fan reacts to Morissette Amon singing Wicked Defying Gravity. Love it. Love this song. Love this musical. If you have a chance to see it, if, it, if they are on tour and they're in Manila, you need to see it. Please go see it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.